So the Wanderer slash Skaramus has been out for a couple of days and I think he is an incredibly fun unit and his design is quite a success. But why do I think that? Well let's find that out today. Well my first point is that Skaramush encompasses what a Anemo damage dealer should be. Same with Xiao, he is very very nimble and very very quick. He can first of all fly, Anemo resembles the element of wind and wind is like fast, quick, mobility and that's what you would really like to see in a Anemo unit. Well, if you look at that list and then look at Skaramush, he can fly which is a incredibly unique mechanic and also well encompasses the, the wind really well. Second of all, his attacks are really really fast like he normal attacks really really quick and also his charge attack flows super smoothly within his combo. And third of all, he still has a lot of capabilities that you would like to see in a Anemo main DPS. Being able to use all the elements to his advantage to give himself a buff. Thus I think, even though he used to be Electro, his transformation to Anemo made him encompass the Anemo element incredibly well. Because flying and being fast is what Anemo should be all about. The second point is that his design and kit has incredible polish and he has good gameplay. First of all, in his flying stance, you can still move around a little bit and you can also do extremely smooth charge attacks. Now this is very important for his gameplay, because imagine if you were not able to do this. Imagine you would be stuck in place and your animations would be a lot slower and wouldn't transition nicely within each other in his flying form. Honestly for me, I will dislike his gameplay a lot more. Another point of polish is that they made his dash just not a normal dash but they added something like wow you can get a stack so you can dash for free and also it fires some missiles. His kit feels quite complete and another very good point of that is number 3 all his abilities are useful. His hover ability is quite a useful ability as you can hover around in the air both for exploration reasons as you can fly around the map really really quick reach high places which is really nice and gathering crystal flies has never been this easy before but also his hovering ability doesn't make his other abilities redundant he is not a character that is dependent on his elemental burst actually very far from that his normal attacks are useful and his hover skill just enhances them to be better then his hover skill is just really unique on its own has its own stamina bar and just makes his gameplay a lot more interesting and then his elemental burst is just a big nuke which adds to the kit it feels like Whenever you're almost done wrecking the enemies in your flying state, you can slam that elemental burst and the enemies absolutely disintegrate. And I think this is pretty great. This whole kit makes sense and interacts with each other. And it's not just one ability that is good. It's his entire kit that is good. And that's the third reason why I think his design is great. And his fourth reason why I think he's a really fun unit and why I think his design is pretty good is because he can be slotted into many teams and he even makes Toma useful. Now, I said before how he encompasses Anemo really well by using the Anemo element and its synergy with all the other elements. Well, unlike Kazuha who uses the other elements and buffs them, Skaramouche absorbs them into himself because he is the main character because he's a god. Now... You can have a lot of different elements like Pyro, like Cryo inside of your team and it significantly buffs your Skaramouche. You get massive buffs for having different elements inside of your team and I think that is really cool because that gives you a lot of team building variety. You can use Toma, you can use Diona, you can use Shang Ling, you can use a ton of other examples and they all work together with Skaramouche really really well. And why is that? Because his kit just profits from elements being in the team, a lot of characters can be slotted with him and I like the team diversity. Even though he doesn't do good with other characters that need screen time, because Skaramouche is the main character and we all know that. So for that reason, he has to be on the screen 95% of the time. So pairing him with someone that also needs a lot of screen time probably won't work. But any support you can have a good time with. So, Skaramouche is a quite a well designed unit simply because he encompasses a Nemo incredibly well. He feels really fluent to play, is a ton of fun. I love his basic attacking style where you're constantly counting to 3 in your combo and then putting out a charge attack which does massive damage and you just see the numbers fly off the enemies because he is a Nemo and you proc additional reactions etc. And the flying bit is just really really fun. I also like that you can do small movement adjustments while hitting. And all in all, I think he is a very well designed character. And I think Hoyoverse did a good job on his gameplay. Because he just feels fun to operate. And he never feels bad. And also the fact that his E cooldown skill is so short. Makes him very much a good reliable main DPS. So I want to say, Skaramouche is a ton of fun. So if you like fast, nimble, quick, fun and Nemo characters. I would 
definitely say he is one that you would like to pick up.